They represent the diversity of our economy and want the same help the government is offering to companies and employees. Whilst others have had their wages protected, the self-employed workforce who've had their lives disrupted by the coronavirus have had to fend for themselves. Driving instructor David has gone from back-to-back -back bookings to zero and he's not sure when he'll next be on the road. There's worry where's the money going to come from, what's going to happen, uh, frustration that more for my pupils who are moving along quite nicely and then all of a sudden they've got to come to a stop. We're okay for a couple of weeks, so to speak, but thereafter there's no money coming in. I've got to live off what I've put aside in order to make sure that food remains on the table. Later, Chancellor Rishi Sunak is expected to announce a package of measures to support millions of self-employed workers. The Prime Minister says drawing up plans hasn't been easy. It's been more complex, as you can understand, to support uh, the self-employed because uh, that they have, there are many different arrangements that they have and it's been, it's been tricky to work out a, a package that will address uh, the needs of as many people as possible. But that has been done. It's been done at incredible speed. One way of getting through it is with simple antibody tests to determine who has had the virus. The government's confirmed it's bought over three million, but they're wary of rushing them out to homes until they're confident of their accuracy. Because I'm a GP, as soon as I got my symptoms, I was concerned that I was at risk clearly of, of infecting others. And at the time, uh, there were still testing pods, which were run by 111. And even though I wasn't from a high risk area, I knew I was, so I got tested. Now, it was very important for me to get tested because I'm a health professional. I'm and put patients at risk. If it was the case that I could have been tested at home, that I could have been done on a pinprick, that somebody could have got the test for me, it, it would really have been a game changer. Pressure mounts on hospitals too, and their capacity to cope with a growing number of patients needing treatment for COVID-19. We expect the demand for critical care beds to continue to rise uh, over the, le the next two weeks. This is going to be a close-run thing, we all know that, uh, and anybody who looks around the world can see this is going to be difficult for every health system. The road ahead will be trying, but more than half a million people have volunteered to help the NHS in this fight. The altruism of Britain shining even in darkness. Ashna Harinag, Sky News.